from Studio 46. This is CBS 2 News at 5. Did J.J. After Dark keep the NFL in the dark? This is a special CBS News report. Embarrassment and shock reverberated through the CBS headquarters today when it was learned that sports talk host John Jastrzemski has been implicated in the Deflategate investigation. Ted Wells released his report today and named Jastrzemski as one of the lead culprits, deflating footballs before the AFC title game and leading to widespread head shaking around the CBS offices. CBS Sports Radio host D.A. reached out out to Jastrzemski to ask him a series of pointed questions about his role in the affair. JJ, when did you speak to the NFL? I never spoke to the NFL. I think you're talking about a different John Jastrzemski. With all due respect, JJ, you're under oath right now. Don't be evasive. When did you speak to the league? Listen, I'm not under oath, and I'm not being evasive. I never spoke to them. It's a different guy. It's a different John Jastrzemski. I can't get Boomer. Besides, on my show on WFN in New York... And he works at the same station as me. I wish Ted Wells would talk to me. True or false, you're a huge NFL fan. That is true. And you're leading us to believe you're not in the Ted Wells report? Seems like a poor alibi. I don't know what to tell you, DA. I know you're just doing your job, but I'm telling you right now, that's a different JJ. No reason to get combative. I'm just asking questions here. When did you have time to deflate those footballs? DA, was me. Why do you hate the Patriots? Is it because you're a Dolphins fan? Look, I do hate the Patriots, but that wasn't me. Well, let me ask. Would you send texts that say Tom Brady sucks? Well, yeah, but... Have you ever sent a text that says Tom Brady sucks? Yes. Yes, I have. But I'm telling you, it's a different guy, D.A. Listen to this accent. Does this sound like a guy who would be allowed anywhere near Boston, Massachusetts? After all of these lies, do you really expect the world to believe you? Remember when Tom Brady cried on camera to NFL Films because he thought he wasn't going to get drafted, then he got all embarrassed and flustered to the podium answering all those deflate gate questions? Do you feel the weight of shame you have brought upon him? D.A., he's going home to Giselle every night. I think he'll be okay. One more time, when did you speak to the NFL, and how did you get back in time to host that Saturday night in for Tony Page on WFAN, and then you filled in for my show on the CBS Sports Radio Network? Was it because you did no prep work and then mailed in the show? Well, if the show sounded that bad, I'm just going to blame it on the rest. It is unclear whether CBS will allow the After Dark radio program to roll on. There had been multiple calls for an immediate suspension mostly from angry Patriots fans on Twitter and something called Snapchat. CBS News will keep listeners up to date on this story as it unfolds.